friends today we are going to learn how to set up webpack dev server so we can host the application uh, over the https protocol to make uh, this happen uh, it's a two-step process first is we need to create a something called a self-signed certificate creating a self-signed certificate is a pretty straightforward process I would highly recommend checking out this article created by Heroku developers. If you follow the steps in this article, you will have three files in your project. Server.cert, server.key, and server.csr. We are primarily going to use the server.crt and server.key. Once we have the self signed certificate, we will need this FS module to read those certificates and I'm going to read them uh, uh, the certificate and I'm going to read the key once you read it the process is pretty simple when you create a webpack dev server instance we have to pass those thing as an argument uh, as a, a object as an object inside the HTTPS key so cert will be cert and key will be key and that's pretty much it in terms of the setup now let's see how it works. So now when I start my server, I can navigate to the HTTPS URL. And when you hit this URL for the first time, Chrome warns you that, hey, this is not a trusted certificate. It's a self-signed certificate, but it's safe for the development purpose. And we can go ahead and click advance and say, proceed. I understand the risk. And hey, my application works. Why do you want to do this? Uh, the biggest advantage is, uh, for example, if you want to use some sort of a API which requires the application to run on HTTPS protocol, for example, the payment API, you can use it uh, while doing your development work without buying a certificate by the trusted third party. If you try to use the payment API over HTTP protocol, Chrome will not allow you to do that. So in that case, this is a very helpful. I hope this video helps you in setting up your webpack to use the HTTPS protocol. Have a nice day.